the works of the late Professor Emeritus J. H. Krabnan Ketia live on, if in after his passing. Known as the grandfather of African music, Professor Nketia was a renowned musicologist and composer of modern and traditional music. His work, widely known across Africa and the world, made him a household name. Our reporter, Thelma Taki, visited the J.H. Kwabnenketi archives at the Institute of African Studies of the University of Ghana, and he shares with us some of his works. The archives unit of the Institute of African Studies at the University of Ghana is named after the late professor emeritus J.H. Kwabnenketia. The renowned musicologist was brought to the University of Ghana by the late Professor Kofi Abrifabuzia, who was then head of the sociology department as a research fellow in African studies because at the time there was no African institute. Professor Nketia spent his life gathering information about traditional Ghanaian cultures, composing music and writing for publication. Professor Nketia started the archives unit with his own material and later other researchers donated other items to the unit. The unit now houses different formats of information on Ghanaian and African culture and traditions. Some of Professor Nketia's personal written works are also found here. So this is something that Prof did. Yes, this is what Prof did. We can open it. It's written in tree as well. Yes, it's written in tree. Prof was, most of his work was done either in tree or English. This silence video is one of the oldest at the archives unit. It was filmed in 1931 and donated to the Institute by the Smithsonian Institute in Washington in the U.S. Now that the prof is no more, the staff he worked with are always on hand during their working hours to give visitors and researchers a taste of history. So what's happening there now? We can see that there's a tape on it and something is going around. Yeah, so this is what we do. We pre-listen to whatever material we want to digitize. So I'm pre-listening to it and kind of like clean it and also adjust the levels. So this, we use this one to adjust the level. This is an analog to digital converter that we use to adjust the levels. They say working for the late Professor Emeritus was extremely educative and an honor they will never forget. They also remain committed to ensuring that his dream of preserving Ghanaian and African culture and making the information accessible for posterity is realized. The fact is he, he virtually emptied his house and brought all his film work to, to, to the institute you know, to be kept in the then sound archive. He also published extensively. You know, if you read his series and the tributes around, he's, he's I think, one of the most published um, ethnomusicologists in, in, in his time. Kofin Kitia, I think, would love for his music to still, you know, live on. You know, for um, choirs and um, even school children and all that to read his books, to listen to his music, the collections he collected from all these indigenous communities to be accessed, properly assessed. I think he will be smiling in his grave um, when he sees that um, the work he did is not just lying in boxes and, you know, or in shelves, closed shelves, and then they are um, being used, you know, for the purposes, you know. Um, for which they were you know, recorded. The archives unit say they are ever ready to receive material from the general public which are of historical value to Ghana and Africa. The family of the late Professor Emeritus plans to lay their departed loved one to rest in May, but his works are forever immortalized in this unit for generations yet unborn to learn from. Thelma Taki, GBC 24, Accra.